just waiting for Sean. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I, uh... Ready? Yeah. Screaming child is a go. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Kids Invent Stuff, the YouTube channel where we bring to life kids invention ideas. I'm Ruth and I'm super excited because this is Sean. Hello, I feel very small today. Yeah, I, I purposely set you up so I was taller than you for once. During this time in lockdown, we've been busy making things and we've seen some spectacular making projects that people have been doing in isolation at home. From crazy bikes to incredible makers making protective equipment for doctors and nurses. And we asked you guys at home to send us some of your favourite making projects that you've been working on and we were sent some amazing ones. So in this video we thought we'd share with you some of the stuff we've been making and celebrate your awesome makes. Let's, Let's go! go! Kids invent stuff. All across the world people are making in lockdown. Whether it's Colin Furs with his social distance bike or Simone and her proud parent machine. If it's fast food that you're missing, Lad Baby has the thing for you. His McDonald's experience. Is that what you ordered? Yeah. Just watching it makes me want some chicken nuggets. For others, it's about recreating sports in their back garden. So whether it's swimming or skiing, people are getting creative and making ways that they can practice their favorite sports. Now, lots of people are 3D printing, like Dave, who's 3D printed himself his own humanoid walker. That's a robot that he is making walk. It's incredible, all in lockdown. And if it's nature that you're looking for, Sally LePage has made a pond in her back garden and she's even done a video so you can follow along and make one at home. So I've also been busy putting together this interactive mural. So these animals that you can see behind me, when you place your hands on them, the animal noise will sound a little bit like this. <laughs> but there's also been loads of makers who've used their talents to help people in the current pandemic situation. Over to Sean. Around the world, makers have been turning their hands to helping solve some of the problems and shortages faced by our doctors, nurses and care workers. This helpful making was something that I was lucky enough to get involved with with some friends when, like lots of people around the world, we started 3D printing some of these protective face shields in response to doctors and nurses getting in touch because they urgently needed them to help them in the fight against the coronavirus. And our friend Stephanie from Stephanie Explains It All has also been working on this face shield challenge over in Texas. I printed 50 to send over to Colombia and 50 to New York. I had to cut out all the extra filament of each headband and then I washed them with water and soap. And here in Cornwall we've now switched from 3D printing our face shields to being able to make 3,000 of them a day by collaborating with some friends who've got an injection molding factory where plastic gets melted and forced into molds to very quickly make parts like these so we can produce loads of face shields every day. And people have also been turning their sewing skills to help in the current pandemic situation, with whole armies of people sewing sets of scrubs for medical professionals to wear as part of their personal protective equipment. And others have been sewing protective face masks for community workers and care workers to wear to help prevent them getting the coronavirus and to help them protect the vulnerable people that they work with. And a little while ago, we asked you guys at home to send us some of the things you've been making in lockdown. And we were stupidly impressed with a mix of things that you've been making. Like Lucas, who made this amazing DIY marble run out of things he found at home. And Joshua Neil Fox has been throwing some incredible pottery. And we were sent this awesome video of an invention from a school in Oxfordshire, where kids have put together a DIY mechanical light switch device. And Rob Ives has been inspiring us with his makes, including this incredible Venus flytrap. And Emily's been busy printing t-shirts and making a rubber band racer. And Tim and his family sent us these awesome video clips of their DIY mechanical dragon that they built at home. First, when you push this thing, like that, the wings. I'm pulling these levers to make the tail go different ways. Thank you. And you also sent us loads more. We loved seeing all your projects. And if you know any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life, then me and Ruth are the people to do it. Check out our website, which will appear on the screen below, for our latest invention challenge. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and of course to hit the notification bell to be notified when we put up a video. 
Happy making! Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.